Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS. Welcome back to another video and today is Thanksgiving here in America. It's where you say thanks for all the different things that you have in your life. Now obviously like the big ones in my life, you know, are like family, a roof over my head, a car, uh, just the essentials, like you know, like all that stuff. It's awesome to have things to be thankful for because pretty much you like just the breath, you know, like in my lungs right now, like I'm thankful for that. Like it, there's so much stuff you can say you're thankful for but today I wanted to do a different video and kind of tie in Call of Duty with it at the same time so it was a little bit like I don't know I, I just think this is a cool video and I won't really wanted to do it so today I'm doing the top five things I'm thankful for in Black Ops 3 I know it's kind of corny you know mixing it in with Call of Duty but I figured it'd be a cool video so really hope you guys do enjoy without further ado let's get right into it. coming in at the number five spot the return of pub stomping. Since there's no skill based matchmaking, or though we think there's no skill based matchmaking in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, it has opened up a new avenue for some great pub stompers to really show how good they are at Call of Duty, and that is something that was greatly missed in Advanced Warfare. With the addition of skill based matchmaking in that game, every single gameplay that was amazing was overlooked because of the skill based matchmaking and all that stuff, and it really tainted the view of all the different pub stompers. Although I'm not a pub stomper. I could even tell in my games that it was really annoying playing against sweaty tryhards all the time if you had a good KD. Coming in at the number 4 spot, the ranking system. The ranking system in Black Ops 3 is so cool because there's so much different stuff you can do. There's a ranking system for multiplayer, a ranking system for zombies, and even a ranking system for the campaign, which is really cool and it opens up new avenues for to do a bunch of different things. With the addition of gumballs in zombies, you can rank up and then you can unlock one every time you prestige. There's 10 prestiges. That is so much replayability and that's another thing that really really is awesome about black ops 3 coming in at the number three spot a large selection of viable guns there's not one gun that really sticks out and is completely overpowered because there's a bunch of guns that are all good and all overpowered and that's something that was really needed in a call of duty game we had ball of duty rooftop warfare and the asm1 in advanced warfare that's literally the only guns that people use except for maybe a sniper every once in a while in black ops 3 competitive is going to have a bunch of different guns that are all viable and that's really really good because it keeps the replayability and ability to watch competitive a lot more and that's really really cool coming in at the number two spot zombies as you guys know i love zombies so much and i'm so happy with how the zombies is turning out right now in black ops 3 shadows of evil is really fun but it's also very very complicated and really time consuming although it's crazy long and it takes a really long time to do the easter egg it's still really cool and then of course we have the giant which is a great remake of the original map to from world at war and i really really enjoy just zombies in general the addition of gumballs and all the new stuff that they're adding in it looks really cool and very very promising for the dlc coming out soon coming in at the number one spot for the greatest thing i am thankful for in call of duty black ops 3 Call of Duty is fun again, and yes guys, I know we're still in the honeymoon stage, we're still in the beginning of Call of Duty, but that is okay, because I have been having so much fun, whether it's just playing with friends, getting in a party chat, talking to friends, pub stomping the enemy team, making them back out, playing competitive, like literally, I have had so much fun, and zombies of course, as well, like I just haven't had this much fun in a Call of Duty game since Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 2 is really, really fun, but at the same time, I wouldn't even compare that to this game because there's so much different stuff and that's awesome like honestly it makes me remember the black ops one days the modern warfare two days where i always would jump on have a bunch of friends ready to play ready to have fun and that is really what call of duty is all about guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this top five things i'm thankful for in call of duty black ops 3 i know it's a little bit different and i i hope you guys understand that so if you guys did enjoy my name is greg fps i will see you all later peace out guys